Hi everyone, welcome to the part 3 of this series Angular JWT Authentication. Now to, do, to decode the JWT token, we will install a library like Auth0 Angular JWT. Okay. So we, we need a new library that is Auth0 Angular JWT. So this package helps us to decode the JWT access token. By the way, along with decoding JWT access token, it also provides some wonderful features uh, for authentication. So let's check them as well. So one thing is it can decode the token. And another thing is directly with the help of token, we know whether the token is expired or not. Okay. And some of other features like token uh, can be registered JWT module as well. What is the benefit of registering module means? So for a secured endpoints, we have to pass our JWT token as a authorization header value, right? So if you configure the JWT module, okay, that adding of JWT token to every request automatically taken care by him, by it, okay? And it provides a lot of uh, configuration, okay? How to the token should be configured, like which domain configured, um, which domains JWT token must be added and for which URL it, it must be excluded like that you can configure okay and uh, hello domains disallow domains and by default my JWT token uh, is a barrier token so barrier token authentication schema no need to define but if you want to use the different type of auth scheme then you can specify that okay like that there are a lot of configurations which we will understand when we explore them in our code okay first let's install this package Install the auth package. So after installing package, let's create the instance of the JWT helper server. Okay, like JWT helper equal to new JWT helper service. Okay, so that loads from Auth0 Angular JWT library. Okay. Now using this uh, instance, we can decode the JWT token. So now here, what I will do? JWT helper dot decode token. To the decode token, we have to pass our access token value. Okay. So for now, what I will do? I will just console log the decoded data okay so now let's check it what are the properties we are going to get from the decoded token so here is my login page and we know the test credentials and open the console. Okay, now click on login. It is successful. Right. And now here you can see the object like from the D this is the decoded object. So token contains email expiration and the sub sub is nothing but uh, the user ID and the username. Okay, so let me create a interface that represent this 
decoded token object okay so for that ng generate interface so i want this interface available throughout the application for that i am going to create inside of the shared auth folder and name of my interface i will name like user profile okay now go to user profile let's populate the properties email the string exp expiration member meeting sub Number. Okay. Username string. Okay. Now go to our auth service. Here, what I will do? I will create a behavior subject. Why I am going to create? I will explain. Okay. So user profile. Okay, let's initialize with behavior subject and its type is either user profile or a nullable value. Initially, let's pass null data. Okay, now here instead of logging to console log, where user data equal to and convert it as user profile data once encryption is done this dot user profile dot next so for a subject we have to pass data means we have to use next okay and pass the user data now we have our authenticated or decrypted user token information here right in this observable now what i want to do means i want to display log it when user is not authenticated and i want to display email id in the place of login menu item when the user is authenticated okay so before doing that First, let me go to login component. Instead of showing alert messages, okay, for failure, just log console. Okay, fail. And if the authentication is successful, let's land land on home page. Okay, for that we need a service like router service router service that loads from the angular router okay so if it is login is good then this dot router dot navigate to home page okay now let's focus on menu item displaying based on the authenticated user okay now go to app component dot html file so here is the uh, our uh, auth login data right so in app component let's try to read the user information app component dot ts file okay let me create a variable like user profile which is of type user profile or nullable okay so now 
in the constructor let's inject our auth service uh, auth service okay and implements ng on init method on init method okay now instead of the ng on init let's try to listen for the auth service user profile data okay so subscribe for data okay and assign it to our user profile equal to data okay and it should be a nullable now using this variable information let's toggle the menu items so how to do that so to display this login item i can apply ng if okay like so what is the use variable user profile right so user profile okay i'm checking null values okay so that means if it is null it will return zero okay equal to equal to zero that means sub means i have mentioned right it is an authenticated user id if it is zero means user is not authenticated yet so in that case it will be zero in that case we are going to show the uh, username sorry login menu item if at all okay, just duplicate this one and instead of equal to equal to zero let's say greater than zero that means user authenticated at that time there is no navigation here simply href equal to hash and here i want to display the email address user email address user profile dot email okay now let's test it okay if i reload i can see login login page okay enter the test credentials See, I am navigated to home page, and here you can see test at the rate test.com, which is my email, means user is successfully authenticated. So, this is how we can decode the JWT token using the library like Auth0 JWT Angular. Okay, next we are going to consume a secured endpoint. Okay. That is nothing but a uh, here is our endpoint secured endpoint so this endpoint for to consume we need to pass the jwt access token as a authorization header value okay next we try to implement this i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then, signing off.